Hey guys, back to doing the videos we like. Three, four minutes and we're in and we're out. No more of the 10, 12 minute videos. I know that was a few days there, chaotic days. But here's what we're gonna do. We're back. This is something that you'll have to do occasionally with the trolling motor. You'll have to do it with your fish finder some. Um, your live scope. You, you will, on occasion, um, have to recalibrate your trolling motor. And the, ca the calibration on trolling motor, it's an important feature because it also it keeps you um, uh, being able to go into certain directions and do course locks and things like that. It helps with the uh, anchor lock mode and everything like that. But it's, it's a real simple feature. So let's get into it. Doesn't take but a couple minutes, and uh, it's a it's a pretty cool feature. And I'll show you some cool things about it that will help you uh, you know make sure it's as accurate as it can be. Here we go. All right, here's how to do it. Let's make sure we can see this bad boy. There it is. We're gonna go menu, and we're gonna go down to settings. Now, once you're at settings, you go to trolling motor calibrate there are two different things you can calibrate on here the first calibration we're going to do is bow offset uh, bow offset is when you use the jog feature uh, to go five foot forward five foot left and what it does is you align the front of the trolling motor and let's do it well you align the front of the trolling motor right there now what i'm doing is i line it with perfectly straight of my boat and I think I've got it real straight right there now we'll go back to the remote let me try to make sure I got this where you can read it now offset and all you do is push the down button set you heard the trolling motor beep you heard the alarm beep I mean on the to the deal and the bow offset is done this is a great feature to have um, there's two different features you gotta, you know, worry about. Bow set allows you to went right right now. If you see, you hit the anchor button. Okay, now we're set an anchor button. Let's, now, if I want to, and it's it's a good ways away from where. All right, there we go. If I want to jog forward five foot, what it does is it goes five foot in the direction that the bow is heading, and that's why the bow offset is important. Um, no matter if it's holding at an angle. See, right now, it'll go, I'll hit it right here. I'll go one, two, and I just did 10 foot. I'll show you that, 10 foot. Now watch it. It is jogging forward 10 foot in the direction that the boat is headed. Now, if you want to go to the left, you hit this button right here. And now it's going to go, watch the trolling motor. It's going to go five foot to the left of where the bow said, not the direction of the trolling motor. It's going to go five foot to the left of the bow. And when you, and you can see it, and I always try to turn when you see it in the sun. Right now, we're within one foot of the anchor. I mean, that's, you see the little red indicator on the left-hand side? That lets, that's one, that means we need to go one foot to the left. It adjusts on its own, but it just lets you know how far from the center point of the anchor lock it is. Cool feature but it's an important feature to be able to access all the features, the jog features of your trolling motor, bow offset. All right, so this is the other part of the uh, trolling motor calibration. Once again, hit the menu button, that's the three little lines. We're gonna scroll down to settings, trolling motor, and we're gonna go to calibrate. Um, calibration has two, feet, two different bow offset and compass offset. The bow offset is what we covered in the last video. That is for the jog features. That makes sure that when you say course up, that it heads perfectly uh, in the direction of your boat um, that is heading. And if you jog to the right or jog to the left, it'll jog five feet in the direction, directly 90 degrees uh, to the right or directly 90 degrees to the left or you know, straight ahead or full or backwards. But for this one, we're going to do compass. And it says, turn the boat slowly. Now I'm going to set this right here. Now I want to show you something. It's going to show, we're going to turn the boat, read it right there. See if we can get a little better. You can see. All right, 
Turn the boat slowly in two four circles, keeping the boat level and steady while turning. So how do I do this? All right, I'm gonna turn the boat 90 degrees right here. Okay, I turn my trolling motor. I've got it on two and I've got it perfectly 90 degrees. Then I go down here, okay? Let's get down here. I'm gonna hit the constant on button right there. Now, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna hit, and there we go. And I'm gonna show you the progress of this, and you'll see it. It's uh, it's gonna, it's giving you a progress bar. And I'm gonna be real steel. I've got the trolling motor set 90 degrees of the front of the boat. Let's take a look at it. I'm not touching anything. I'm not touching the pedal. I'm not touching uh. <clears throat> the, the uh, actual propulsion, how fast it's going. I've already preset that and I have the it on, as you can see by the, the prop indicator indicating it's on. Now we're going through this, 71. You'll lose you as we get to a dark spot in the sun, but here we go again, 84, 86, 87. Very simple, nothing hard about this. Now, compass calibrated. It is calibrated. It, compass calibration is very important. And the reason it's very important is it, let's turn that off, is it tells, it allows you to have very, very accurate spot locks. Without the compass calibration, the, you had to have very, very accurate, cali uh, you won't have very accurate compass calibrations. But here's another great thing is it does. It allows this trolling motor, if you go into this section right here, and uh, let me turn it off and I'll do this on active captive. Now, after you've calibrated it, go into the menu setting on your fish finder that's got your Garmin Force link to it. And when you go into the menu setting, you'll scroll down to the right to the three lines. That's Garmin's uh, menu page. It's, it's, all, it's the menu on their remote. It's also the menu on the trolling motor uh, tab at the top of the screen. Uh, you'll scroll down to the right, um, choose those three, three lines, and when you choose those three lines, it brings up a whole menu. Go into Calibrate, and you can see Compass Calibration. It says Q88, and that is the quality of your calibration. Just like LifeGoat has a quality, so does a uh, trolling motor.